Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Tuition here, and in this video, I am going to show you the solution for question three from the May 2017 POA paper two. If you want to see the other solutions for this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below. And with that said, let's get into the solution. Okay, so as always, we take a read of the information. So it says Kwame's punches. In the year ended 30 June 2016, Kwame sold 25,000 fruit punches for a total of 275,000. Calculate the selling price for each of Kwame's fruit punches. Show all working clearly. Okay, so this is more of a maths question and then there's an accounts question. So I've had a calculation of selling price per unit. So all we have to do really is take the selling, the total money earned, total sales revenue, 275,000, divide by the number of fruit punches, which is 25,000, and we're gonna get $11 per unit. So straightforward and simple. Next, we have Kwame's costs for each fruit punch are as follows. So we have tropical fruit mix, 150. We have the milk, 68 cents cane sugar 20 cents and flavor booster 12 cents okay they want the cal the calculation of the gross profit made by kwame on each fruit punch now how do we figure out gross profit so normally you might think okay well i'm gonna have to do a trading account at least sales minus cost of sales um so i have two hundred seventy-five thousand, and i need um 25 i sold twenty-five thousand units but wait before you go all there think about the context what did we just find in part a we just found the selling price per unit so that's like the sales revenue for one unit. And these costs here are for each fruit punch. So if you take these costs and you add it up, guess what you get? You get the cost of each fruit punch. So then what will we do with that cost? Think back to regular math. What is profit? Selling price minus cost price, right? That's all the trading account is. That's all gross profit is. Selling price minus cost price. So what we're going to do is we're going to add up all of these figures here and subtract that from 11. So if you go down here, Selling price per unit, $11. Less cost per unit. So we add in the 150 and 68 and that. So 250 from $11 is 850. Right, that much I know. Right, so that's your gross profit per fruit punch. Cool. All right, so again, it was just four marks. So it could not have been anything overly involved. All right. Now, the other part of the question, as we'll see on top here, wants you to do the following. So it says, Kwame's other costs for the year include the following. So we have a rent, electricity, insurance, wages, and maintenance. And we have some additional information, right? So this one here was the, the key part of the question for most people in terms of the difficulty level, right? So for two years, ending 30th through 26 in the current year, so two years, so this current year end for them is the second year, right? Kwame has owned five blenders valued at 2,700. Maybe I should try to highlight so it doesn't cut off piece of the stuff, right? He expects to replace all five blenders by 30th June 2017. So they have one more year left on them. So that we've had them for two years already, plus one more year means we're going to have them for three years. When drafting his income statements, Kwame uses the straight line method of depreciation. What do they want? Draw up Kwame's income statement for the year ended 30th through 2016. Let's take a look and see how many marks that is. That's 10 marks. So you're going to spend about 15 minutes on this question. Honestly, you shouldn't need that long. But again, I understand if you're not entirely sure what to do. This question was brought a bit differently. You're accustomed getting trial balances with additional information below. So this might seem very strange, especially since it started off with a math calculation, a math question, right? But again, try not to let it confuse you. Use your brain. You have your brain. You are very capable. Don't ever doubt you are capable. And if you doubt so, message me. I'll tell you again to your face you're capable, okay? <laughs> All right, let me scroll down a bit here. Um, on, on the bottom half of this stuff here, right? So even if you're not sure exactly what to do for the whole thing, do what you can. We need an income statement, right? Now, we already calculated the gross profit on each item here. So maybe we don't have to show sales minus cost of goods sold for all 25,000. Maybe we could start off with gross profit, right? Because it's only 10 marks, right? Or I guess it depends on your level of detail and what you think you have to do. So if I start off here, Right? So I have sales revenue 275. So that's what I chose to do. I chose to start over the sales revenue minus the cost of goods sold. Now, the, each, each unit costs what it was, 250, and we sold 25,000. So you're seeing a calculation here, $2.50 per unit multiplied by 25,000. And that's going to give me a cost of units sold or cost of goods sold of 62,500. My overall gross profit is therefore 212,500. Now, if you want and you have your calculators, you can double check that. You could plug 850, which is the gross profit per unit, multiply by 25,000. As a matter of fact, do that now and make sure you get back 212,500, right? Let me know in the comments below. Right, so we have that piece of the income statement so far. We need the expenses. 
Now all you have to do is plug in those five expenses. So rent, electricity, insurance, wages, maintenance and repairs, and the last thing is depreciation. So the last thing we have to do is the depreciation, and that is where most people had trouble. Now let's approach it rational, right? So it says for the, actually I'm gonna have to re-highlight that because I cut off the 2700 again. <laughs> for, so for the two years ending 30th June 2016, Kwame has owned five blenders. So let's unpack that, right? For the two years ending 30th June 2016, so that is the current year end, which means we've, we also had a year end 30th June 2015. So right now we're in existence for two years. So he's owned these blenders for two years and he expects to replace all five blenders by the end of the next year. So at the end, uh, at the end is going to be three years for which he has had the blenders. And if he's drafting his income statements and using straight line method, he's going to be depreciating these blenders over three years. And because it's the straight line method, he's going to be depreciating them evenly over the three years. What does evenly mean? By the same amount. So we're going to take 2,700 and divide by three. And that is the big calculation for depreciation. Totaling that will give us 115,850. Subtracting that from the gross profit gives us our net profit of 96,650. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Now we have one more part of this question. So they want the percentage of each sales dollar paid out in labor costs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the labor costs, which is the wages, right the wages and we're going to divide it by the sales revenue and then multiply by 100 to show the wages the labor costs as a percentage of the sales revenue so you're going to see wages 54,240 which we could confirm by looking at the information right there all right and then we're going to divide that by the sales revenue 275 and we're going to get approximately 19.72 percent so almost one fifth of our sales revenue, 20, almost 20% went to pay off wages. If, for instance, they, they had asked what percentage of each sales dollar was paid out in, let's say, insurance, you would have taken the insurance 4,500 and divided that by sales. Same thing for the rent, same thing for the electricity. Okay, all right, ladies and gents, that's about it for this question. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to message me in the comment section below or on Instagram at Adaptuition. If you wanna check out more playlists, I'm gonna put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you know when I release videos. And don't forget to check out my website to get free payaway handouts. And in the description below, you're gonna see a link to my Facebook page with free payaway solutions. Anyhow guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye.